The Trembling World. Chapter 51. Drawing. Lulu, go take a look inside. Lu Gan told Lulu. There was not much time left before he and Zhang Jin Yuan had to depart, so he had to try his best to develop her courage. At least he could give an acceptable response to Pan Hua. Even if he didn't owe Pan Hua anything. Whoever is inside, come out and show yourself. We don't have any ill intentions, said Lulu as she glanced at Lu Gan. It was as if she guessed that Lu Gan was testing her. Carefully, she peeked into the room to look around. There were no movements in the room nor was there a response. Lu Gan asked Zhang Jin Yuan to probe the room once more just so he could familiarize himself with the process. However, Zhang Jin Yuan played with the PDA for a little more but shook his head. Each reading will take at least 10 minutes to cool down, so its functionality can recharge. Only when it's fully recharged will it be able to take readings. Zhang Jin Yuan explained to Lu Gan. Even though I say it is scanning, it isn't a live feed. After every scan, it will only sense the location of zombies at that one instant. So within that 10 minute cool down, the zombies could change positions, but the monitor wouldn't indicate that. Lu Gan was slightly disappointed when he heard it. There is a huge difference between scanning once every 10 minutes and scanning with live updates. Previously, with other games, the map's red dot indicator would update in real time. It was a reliable method of finding the enemy's location and movement patterns. Yes, Zhang Jin Yuan nodded as he answered Lu Gan's question. Lu Gan didn't ask any further. Even though it wasn't a live feed, but a scan every 10 minutes, it was still much better than relying solely on his eyes. Compared to other players, this scanning device was an amazing cheating tool. Lulu was panic-stricken as she peered into the room and gave it a good look around before finally walking into it. Lu Gan followed Lulu close behind with the PDA in hand. They both entered into the room, just to confirm the blue dot's location. It should be hiding in the room on the left corner of the wall and under the bed. Lu Gan lowered his body closer to the ground and peeked under the bed. Sure enough, he saw a four-year-old child hiding underneath the bed. His eyes were wide with fright, peering out and looking around. We don't mean you any harm, come out. Lu Gan called for the young child. This had to be the game world's local survivor. There was absolutely no way this was a trembling world game player. He didn't know the theory behind how Zhang Jinyuan's scanning device worked to differentiate between a game player and a local survivor. It couldn't be because of the alloy watch, could it? It was known that every player who entered into the game had an alloy watch on their wrist that fit perfectly. The young child was still tightly holding onto the toy airplane, and even after hearing Lu Gan scream, he didn't come out. In fact, he retreated further in and was even more afraid of Lu Gan. Tian, Lu Gan used call. Not very effective. What is your name? I won't hurt you, so come out. Lu Gan called for the young child once again. Yet the young child still hid under the bed without moving. This is a local survivor, a four or five year old child. I called, but he won't come out. Do you have any questions to ask him? Lu Gan asked Zhang Jin Yuan who had just entered the room. If he is too young, I won't get any useful information from him. Zhang Jin Yuan frowned. Lulu gently put her machete on the floor. She flipped through a couple of drawings sitting by the bedside table and then lowered her body to look under the bed. Dong Dong, I am the older sister that you met last time, do you remember me? This sister here has crackers, some very tasty crackers. Lulu gave a piece of cracker to the young child under the bed. It was clear that she saw the young child's name on the drawings on the table and pretended like she was familiar with him. The young child quickly stuffed the cracker into his mouth. It looked like he had been starving for quite a while. The young child's room window was wide open, and the fridge and kitchen had been ransacked. It was clear that previous local survivors or players had visited this place and removed all the food, but failed to notice the young child hiding away in the corner. Lulu also gave Dong Dong a bottle of water. Unaware of what had been spoken between Lulu and Dong Dong, Dong Dong finally came out from hiding underneath the bed, and Lulu picked him up. His name is Dong Dong. Today is his fourth birthday, Lulu said as she held him in her embrace, explaining to Lu Gan and Zhang Jin Yuan. Dong Dong, what happened in your house? Where's daddy and mommy? 
Zhang Jianyuan started asking Dong Dong. Dong Dong quickly stuffed the complete cracker into his mouth. His expression still showed that he was tense and afraid, and he was unsure of how to answer Zhang Jianyuan's question. Do you think it was a rainstorm? Red-colored rain? Did his dad get soaked in the rain and bite his mom? This is the preset background story. Lu Gan walked over to the desk and picked up Dong Dong's crayon painting as he asked Zhang Jin Yuan. Red colored rain. Zhang Jin Yuan nodded his head. Did you think of something? Lu Gan immediately asked Zhang Jin Yuan. Nope. Zhang Jin Yuan shook his head. The source of this content is N, O, V, L, Bin, Net. The loading screen of the game is red colored rain, too. Lu Gan reminded Zhang Jin Yuan. Yes, that I know. Even though I work at Sanxing Corporation with the intention of joining the game, I am not familiar with these types of games. I don't even play games regularly. Zhang Jin Yuan was embarrassed as he forced a smile and faced Lu Gan. Tell sister, did you see red colored rain pour down from the sky? Lulu asking Dong Dong while he was in her arms. Dong Dong didn't say a word, but nodded. Was daddy soaked in the rain, and then did he bite mommy? Lulu asked Dong Dong again. Dong Dong nodded once again, with his body resting on Lulu. He had the look of a heartbroken child. This isn't a game, you guys know that, right? Lulu turned and asked Zhang Jin Yuan and Lu Gan. Whether this is a game or not, thinking about it is meaningless. You are trapped here, unable to leave, so continuing this topic is pointless. Lu Gan replied to Lulu. It seems like this child only knows this much. We should hurry to the laboratory. Zhang Jin Yuan urged Lu Gan. Will you bring me along? Lulu asked Lu Gan. There are zombies everywhere. Even if I take him to the laboratory, I might not escape myself. I don't have extra energy to take care of you, too. If you follow us, you will only die faster. Stay in this place, and you can survive longer. Lu Gan replied to Lulu. Of course he would object to taking her. You said you would bring us along though? Lulu looked at Zhang Jin Yuan. Zhang Jin Yuan immediately snapped his head in a different direction, pretending like he didn't hear Lulu. Brother Lu, you promised to teach me how to kill zombies. Lulu said after seeing Zhang Jin Yuan ignore her, so she could only turn her attention back to Lu Gan. As promised, I will do that. Do you want to learn now? said Lu Gan as he nodded his head. The Trembling World Chapter 52 Wounded Beasts Yes, I want to start learning now. Lulu lowered her head because she didn't have any other choice. Either she would be abandoned and left to die, or she would have to work hard to survive by learning how to kill zombies. In modern society, there are many children who act arrogantly when they are with their parents. Even when they are only slightly unhappy, they will throw a tantrum. However, when they are placed in the care of their nursery school teacher, or parents' friends and co-workers, they become obedient and will stop throwing tantrums. The reason is simple. Children will stop relying on their parents when their parents aren't by their side. Without anyone to rely on, the foundation for their arrogance will also subside. They know that they will be punished and scolded for throwing a tantrum. Their attitude now, compared to when they were with their parents, would be completely different. Lulu had the support of her superfan Pan Wa by her side before, so she could be a bit unruly. Now that she had nobody else to count on, she could only rely on herself. Do you have your alloy watch? Lu Gan turned his attention to tell Zhang Jin Yuan. Alloy watch. Yes, is this it? Zhang Jin Yuan lifted his wrist for Lu Gan to look at. Yes, that's it. Now take a look at your current attributes, and check out if you have the line that says level. Lu Gan advised. Yes, there it is. I'm level 1, Zhang Jin Yuan said as he nodded. Let's go, I will take you to kill zombies. Lu Gan said to Zhang Jin Yuan and Lulu, as he headed toward the front door. Lulu placed Dong Dong on the floor. Only after she coaxed him, he finally let go of her hand. Then, she headed toward the area where she left her machete. Her complexion turned somewhat pale from fear. Dong Dong quickly went back to hide underneath the bed. He clenched the toy airplane he left behind earlier, as he fearfully peeped out from below. Lu Gan brought Zhang Jin Yuan and Lulu to the district's back exit. Earlier, 
He had already completely scouted this district, so he remembered that a street behind the back exit had quite a lot of zombies. It was a perfect chance to bait some zombies for Zhang Jin Yuan and Lu Lu to practice. Lu Lu trailed behind Zhang Jin Yuan and Lu Gan, knowing that she would be forced to cut down zombies. She grew nervous, but it was too late to change her mind. She could only ride it through. If she didn't take this opportunity to learn how to kill zombies, then how would she protect herself in this apocalyptic world? The moment Lu Gan left, she would have no choice but to wait for death. The source of this content is N, O, V, L, Bin, Net. She was also unsure of how Lu Gan would train them. Surely he wouldn't directly lure them to her to kill, right? Actually, according to Lu Gan's behavior, he might do that. He might not give her time to adjust. Lulu felt as if she was being torn apart by the zombies. Thinking about that moment, her scalp felt numb as the hair on her head started to stand up. Should I escape? What happens after I escape? You guys wait here, I will come back shortly. Lu Gan said to the two and quickly went out the back exit. Lulu looked nervously in the direction out of the district's back exit. Deep within her inner turmoil of emotions, she felt a variety of things. Hesitation, conflict, then a moment of regret, and a feeling of fear. But in the end, she encouraged herself to be brave and face this trial. Zhang Jinyuan's expression was peaceful. He tried his best to maintain a distance from where Lulu stood. He avoided looking at her as he was afraid she might blame him for not bringing her along. Luckily for him, Lulu was paralyzed in fear for what was going to happen next, so she wasn't even thinking about blaming Zhang Jinyuan. She already knew that no matter how much she blamed Zhang Jin Yuan, it wouldn't help. After a few minutes, Lu Gan came running towards them from the back exit. A male and two female zombies were shouting non-stop and following behind him. Lulu paled in fright, as she subconsciously retreated. She was so afraid that she thought about running away. Zhang Jin Yuan got nervous as well, as he had only witnessed zombies through movies. He didn't even play zombie games regularly and now he had to view the zombies up close. His body was covered in goosebumps, as he realized how sinister a real zombie looked like up close. Zhang Jinyuan regained his composure and didn't run away. He knew that Lu Gan definitely wouldn't let the zombies do as they pleased. Lu Gan definitely wouldn't allow these zombies to charge directly at Zhang Jinyuan and Lulu. The remaining distance between the zombies and them was only a few meters. In a few quick movements, Lu Gan knocked down the three zombies, but he didn't kill them, only knocking them down until they couldn't put up a fight. You can use the axe to chop off its head and kill them. Lu Gan gave his short axe to Zhang Jin Yuan, so he could try to kill them. Zhang Jin Yuan frowned. Even though he loathed doing these type of things, he lifted up the hatchet while standing a few meters away from the zombies. He had to choose from the three zombies lying on the ground, and in the end, he chose the weakest looking female zombie and walked over. Before this female zombie was infected, she was a middle school student. She still wore a school bag, but the textbooks inside were all gone. Now, her face didn't have a middle school girl's pure look. She was roaring like a wounded beast, constantly trying to charge at Zhang Jin Yuan from the ground. Zhang Jin Yuan got closer to the middle school female zombie lying on the ground and both of his legs suddenly trembled. However, under Lu Gan's constant shouting, Zhang Jin Yuan kept one of his eyes closed, as he used both his hands to hold up the axe and slash down. Are you a man? Did you put any effort into it? I told you to chop off its head. Why would you chop down on the chest? Lu Gan screamed at Zhang Jin Yuan. Zhang Jin Yuan quickly glanced at the zombie, then realized where he chopped it and felt cold. Under Lu Gan's urging and cursing, Zhang Jin Yuan put some more effort into his slashes, finally managing to chop off the head from the neck. After successfully chopping it off, Zhang Jin Yuan kept panting as both of his hands started shaking. His stomach churned, and he had the urge to vomit. Unsure of why he felt like that, it was as if he had killed a human being for the first time. A faint hazy black orb leaked from the zombie's body and it seeped into Zhang Jinyuan's body. Who told you to stop? Hurry and kill these two as well. If not, 
After a while when they are able to move, I won't help you. Lu Gan ordered Zhang Jin Yuan, as he got ready to leave through the back exit. Hearing Lu Gan say that these zombies could move again, Zhang Jin Yuan got really scared. Lu Gan wasn't here, so if these two zombies got up, no one could save him. Zhang Jin Yuan held in his vomit, and with both hands he lifted his axe and started chopping at the two zombies' necks until their heads fell off. After the first time, the second and third time didn't feel that bad. Even though the urge to vomit still existed, it was still possible to suppress that urge. The Trembling World Chapter 53 New Way of Thinking Not long after, Lu Gan came back from the outside. This time, he brought back four zombies with him. The moment he came back, Zhang Jin Yuan as ordered had finished cutting down the two remaining zombies that were on the ground. Did you reach level 2? Lu Gan looked at Zhang Jin Yuan and asked. No. I'm still level 1. Zhang Jin Yuan looked at his alloy watch and shook his head. Lu Gan couldn't help but frown. He remembered getting level 2 from level 1 after killing his first three zombies. So why was it not the same for Zhang Jin Yuan? Is it because these zombies were seriously injured by him beforehand? Therefore, was that why Zhang Jin Yuan didn't gain most of the experience points allocated to him? If this was the case, then did Lu Gan not gain all the experience points when he killed the first colossal zombie? This matter definitely needed to be clarified. After staying in the Trembling World for a while and meeting other strong players, many instances of boss kill steals will occur. Clarifying the rule on experience point allocation would allow Lu Gan to have better battle tactics in future fights. Are you aware of how this game allocates experience points? Is it allocated based on the amount of damage dealt or on the one who deals the killing blow? Lu Gan asked even though he felt that Zhang Jin Yuan might not have known the answer. I really don't know. Zhang Jin Yuan answered with an awkward expression. If he had known that he would not be directly transported to the main city laboratory but instead transported to a place hundreds of kilometers away, then he definitely would have carefully understood and studied the game's rules. No matter how many times Lu Gan asked him, his answer was simply, I don't know. Lu Gan didn't say anything else, again making Zhang Jin Yuan cut down the four zombies lying on the ground. However, Zhang Jin Yuan still didn't gain a level. Thus, Lu Gan did not make Zhang Jin Yuan cut down the next four zombies he brought over. Instead, he asked Lulu to cut them down. As Lulu was preparing to swing the machete she was holding, Lu Gan seized the machete in her hand and gave her the hatchet he gave to Zhang Jin Yuan earlier. The machete was a player's initial weapon. After using it, Lu Gan felt that it was awfully weak. While it was initially sharp, it would become very dull after a few uses. With sufficient force, the machete could cut off a zombie's head in one swing without any problems. But after cutting down several zombies, the blade became blunt very quickly. It was also inconvenient to sharpen it. Hence, Lu Gan felt the axe was far superior to the machete. Lu Gan found the axe in the minimart earlier. The blade of the axe was relatively thicker, broader, and many times heavier when compared to the machete. Therefore, Lulu needed to use both her hands to lift it up. She wondered why Lu Gan didn't let her use the machete and made her use the hatchet instead. But she didn't ask any questions. Shaking with fear, Lulu held the axe and approached the four zombies that were on the ground. Looking at the four zombies, her hands started to shake, and soon she was completely unable to swing the axe. Swing it with all your might. You can't be that stupid to mess up something this simple, right? Lu Gan's appearance looked unsightly while reprimanding Lulu. Lulu pouted her lips and hesitatingly looked at the zombies on the floor. She lifted up the hatchet and then put it down again still unable to properly swing it. She had two cats and a dog back home. From birth up to the present, she has never killed, not even a small animal. Therefore, these zombies, apart from their blue face and bloodshot eyes, looked no different from a normal human being. Are you a pig? You're really useless. I might as well cut you down with my axe. Lu Gan let out a few curse words. He walked over a couple of steps and suddenly swung the fire axe down at the ground beside Lulu, scaring her and nearly causing her to jump up. You don't need to push me. I'll do it. 
Lulu answered back at Lu Gan with a somewhat aggrieved expression. Lifting the hatchet with her hands again, she finally hacked at the body of the zombie on the floor, but she was unsuccessful in chopping the head off. Concentrate and focus on one spot. You're the most useless person I've ever met. I don't have so much time to dilly-dally with you here. Lu Gan cursed again at Lulu. Lulu stared at Lu Gan unhappily, but in the end she said nothing. Lifting the hatchet with her hands again, she forcefully swung at the zombie. After the first swing, her courage grew more and more. Under Lu Gan's roaring voice, she finally cut down one zombie. A faint dark orb floated into her body, making her body's strength improve slightly. The source of this content is N, O, V, L, Bin, Net. Again, don't stop. Lu Gan continued yelling, causing Lulu to remember the military instructors in high school that made them do drills. After killing the first zombie, Lulu didn't have the urge to vomit like Zhang Jin Yuan did. She wasn't sure whether it was because she already saw too many gruesome scenes of zombies devouring humans. Her mood even calmed down quickly. Under Lu Gan's criticisms, she quickly used the hatchet in her hands to cut down the remaining three zombies on the floor. After absorbing the black orbs that escaped from the corpses of the four zombies, Lulu's body suddenly felt burning hot. The hatchet in her hands felt much lighter than before. Even her sight, hearing, and so on all improved a certain level. What is it? Lu Gan asked Lulu. He noticed that Lulu's face was slightly red, as if realizing something. I couldn't have leveled up, right? Lulu stroked her burning hot face with a somewhat puzzled expression. Look at your alloy watch. Is there a change in the attribute column? Asked Lu Gan with a frown. Earlier, Zhang Jin Yuan cut down no less than six zombies and did not level up. However, how could Lulu only cut down four zombies and level up? Regarding this matter, Lu Gan was still somewhat unable to make sense of the Trembling World's experience point allocation rule. At least, his earlier speculation was wrong. He had to look at it from a different perspective. Lulu looked at her alloy watch, and the number displayed for level definitely changed from 1 to 2. I leveled up. I really leveled up. Lulu had a slightly excited expression, immediately showing the alloy watch to Lu Gan. Lu Gan started to contemplate. Earlier, he believed Zhang Jin Yuan did not level up after cutting down six zombies because he seriously injured them before handing them over to Zhang Jin Yuan to cut down. This caused Zhang Jin Yuan to have insufficient experience points. But after analyzing the circumstances of Lulu leveling up, he realized his earlier speculation was wrong. Zhang Jin Yuan also leaned over. After seeing Lulu's alloy watch display level 2, he looked back at his own alloy watch that displayed level 1. He couldn't help but feel very depressed. Why did Lulu, a girl, level up after cutting down four zombies while he was still stuck at the same level after cutting down six? After we separated, did you kill any other zombies? Lu Gan asked Lulu. No, Lulu shook her head. Don't lie, Lu Gans asked, sounding a bit harsh. I'm not. I'm definitely not lying. Lulu immediately answered Lu Gan. After thinking for a bit, Lu Gan had a new way of thinking regarding the, the Trembling World's experience point allocation. The Trembling World. Chapter 54. I can't watch anymore. If experience points were allocated based on damage dealt, then Lulu's case simply made no sense. Experience should have been gained based on who dealt the final blow. Furthermore, this game didn't completely depend on the number of accumulated zombie kills to level up. It also contained a hidden attribute similar to aptitude, growth value, etc. A person with aptitude could level up by killing a few zombies. A person without aptitude could only level up after killing many more zombies than other players. Lulu was a female game broadcaster. In the first place, she must have loved playing games. Also, because her work was also related to playing many games, she definitely had aptitude in this field. However, Zhang Jin Yuan, who worked for Sanxing Corporation, dealt with matters not related to the game. In addition, he himself was not fond of games, so his aptitude was very poor. Thus, after killing the same amount of zombies, he gained very little experience compared to both Lu Gan and Lulu. 
The result earlier basically validated Lu Gan's speculation. After killing the tenth zombie, Zhang Jinyuan was finally promoted to level 2. Zhang Jinyuan wasn't a dedicated gamer, so this outcome didn't really matter much to him. If Lu Gan had discovered that he had an aptitude like Zhang Jinyuan's, he would likely immediately look for a few thick trees and bash his own head in. Zhang Jinyuan's aptitude was extremely poor. He also had little interest in killing zombies for experience points. Lu Gan no longer forced him, naturally not wanting to waste a large amount of time on him. He focused his energy on training Lulu instead, which honored the promise he made earlier to Pan Hua. The source of this content is N, O, V, L, Bin, Net. Lu Gan soon left through the district's rear exit. After a few minutes, he brought along four zombies and made Lulu kill them after knocking them down. After gaining a level, Lulu's arm strength increased slightly. She chopped through the zombies' necks with greater ease compared to before. Moreover, her hands did not even tremble this time due to her prior experience and she finished killing the four zombies very quickly. Lu Gan remembered that he himself leveled up from level 1 to level 2 after killing his first three zombies. Afterwards, he immediately killed a colossal zombie, which made him go from level 2 directly to level 4. Thus he wasn't sure as to how many zombies needed to be killed to go from level 2 to level 3 and from level 3 to level 4. Lulu killed four zombies and gained one level. It looked like her aptitude was not too different from his. Based on his past experience playing games, if going from level 1 to level 2 required 3 to 4 zombies, then Lu Gan guessed that going from level 2 to level 3 possibly required killing roughly 10 to 20 zombies. Afterwards, Lu Gan ran out no less than 5 more times. After bringing back 20 zombies for Lulu to cut down, Lulu again experienced a feverish sensation throughout her body. Her alloy watch also showed that she leveled up from level 2 to level 3. Apparently with her aptitude, going from level 2 to level 3 required killing at least over 20 ordinary zombies. Do you feel that your strength has increased a great deal compared to before? Lu Gan asked Lulu. Yes. Lulu waved the short axe. When she first started, she used both hands to barely lift the short axe. Her arms would ache painfully after waving it a few times and she would have to grit her teeth just to continue. But upon reaching level 2, she no longer needed to expend a lot of energy to wave the axe with both hands. She also did not feel as tired as before. Now that she was level 3, she could lightly wave the short axe with one hand. This caused her to be amazed, and she seemed more excited than before. In a post-apocalyptic world, the most important thing was to have the ability to survive. If it wasn't for Lu Gan using this method of cheating to help her, she definitely would not have any way to kill zombies to reach level 3. Only by increasing one's level and strength would a person have the confidence to not lose one's head out of fear like before when confronting zombies. Good. Let's move to actual combat training. Lu Gan once again rushed out of the district's rear exit. This time he brought along a zombie, but he did not knock it down. Instead, he chopped off both its arms, and had Lulu fight it. With both arms cut off and only having both feet, the zombie was still very aggressive. It rushed at Lulu with its mouth wide open, wanting to bite Lulu to pieces. Of course, although it currently looked aggressive, it had already become a toothless tiger. Without both arms, it was unable to grab hold of its target. It was very hard to bite a target with just a wide open mouth. XDH20 Note Toothless Tiger, Paper Tiger. Something not to be feared of. However, when Lulu saw the zombie aggressively rushing towards her, her body trembled. She held the axe unsteadily in her hand, and she stood there in a daze. Are you a pig? You will die if you don't cut him down. Nobody will pity a pig like you. Lu Gan could not help but curse at her when he saw Lulu's reaction. Lu Gan's shouting finally caused Lulu to snap out of it. She immediately raised the axe in her hand and violently hacked at the zombie's head. The armless zombie, with its forehead split, continued to charge very aggressively, pushing against the axe in Lulu's hand and nearly knocking Lulu to the floor. You pig brain, its charge is very powerful. Don't you know how to sidestep? Wouldn't it be easier to hack the back of its head after moving out of its way? 
Lu Gan looked at Lulu speechlessly. He no longer wanted to teach such a stupid student. With Lu Gan's criticism, Lulu finally seemed to understand something. She immediately sidestepped the zombie. The forward momentum of the ferociously charging zombie stopped, as it wasn't able to hit anything. This caused it to stagger while moving forward. Lulu finally found an opportunity and swung the axe towards the back of the zombie's head. Unfortunately it didn't have enough force. The zombie turned around very quickly. It extended its head with its mouth wide open to again try to bite Lulu. Lulu took a step back in confusion, nearly falling on the ground. Kick it while it's turning. Can you be any stupider? Are you planning on breaking humanity's limit on stupidity? Lu Gan watched furiously from the sidelines. Tears began to form in Lulu's eyes up due to the scolding, but she still stretched out her leg to kick the zombie. Unfortunately, the opportunity has already passed. Not only did the kick fail to knock the zombie down, but it also caused her own body to stagger. After falling back a few steps, she fell to the floor. Crap! I can't watch this anymore. Lu Gan banged his head against a tree nearby. If Lulu couldn't kill this zombie, he would no longer continue teaching her. With great effort, Lulu crawled back up from the floor before the zombie pounced on her. She sidestepped the zombie's attack, and she kicked at it right when the zombie was about to turn around to try to bite her again. The zombie suddenly lost its balance, shakily falling on the floor. Lulu immediately rushed forward a few steps, and she followed the training earlier by fiercely hacking at the zombie's neck. A few swings later, she was finally able to chop off its head, which ended its life. The Trembling World, Chapter 55, Insensitive and Inconsiderate. Seeing that Lulu finally killed the zombie, Lu Gan at last regained a bit of confidence in her. As a result, he left via the district's rear exit again. Lu Gan lured another zombie over, but this time he only cut off one of its arms, which let it retain some fighting power. This time don't be in a hurry to kill it. Carefully study its attack pattern and practice dodging its clawing attack. Lu Gan explained these training methods to Lulu while he clutched the back of the zombie's neck with one hand and twisted the zombie's arm with his other hand. Will the zombie still be as ferocious as before? Lulu asked Lu Gan. Even though she wasn't as scared as before, she was still a little bit worried because the zombie now had one arm intact. Yes, once the zombie sees a target, the zombie will instinctively rush over and jump attack it. When the distance of this jump attack is around 1 or 2 meters away from you, the zombie will speed up further. After speeding up, the zombie will have a strong forward momentum. As long as you grasp the right timing to sidestep the zombie the instant it speeds up, the zombie will be unable to jump attack you. However, the timing is very important. Dodging too early will cause the zombie to change direction but dodging too late will result in you being caught. XDH20. The way the zombie attacked, might be a skill, but for now I don't think we will name it yet. Until there's more details from the author, after failing the first jump attack, the zombie will stumble forward for a few steps. After which, it will turn around and initiate another jump attack on you. The zombie is the most unbalanced when it turns around. You must rush towards it in that instant and forcefully kick it. This kick will knock it to the ground with enough force. After it is knocked down, getting rid of the zombie will be significantly easier. Of course, you are only practicing the sidestepping and kicking right now. There's no rush to kill the zombie. Lu Gan turned towards Lulu as he explained these specific instructions. These were the experiences and tactics gained from his previous battles with zombies, which was very useful to the current Lulu who had almost no experience in dealing with zombies. The current Lu Gan no longer needed to use these kinds of tactics. If a zombie charged at him, he would immediately use his fist or axe to deal with it or send it flying with a jumping roundhouse kick. The zombies would definitely not have any chance to jump attack him. Wait, there's one more thing. Lulu immediately blurted this out, as she saw Lu Gan preparing to release the zombie. What is it? When you swing the axe, do you get any blisters on your hand? I am not sure why my hands have so many blisters, and it is very painful. Lulu bit the bullet and asked Lu Gan while opening her pale, bloodied hands for him to see her blisters. Grab a clean piece of clothing from the zombies on the floor that has not been stained with blood or zombie fluid. 
Then use your machete to cut it into strips and wrap it as tightly as possible around your hands. This will prevent blisters from forming when you are swinging the axe to kill zombies. Lu Gan frowned and considered for a moment before replying Lulu. Lulu looked at the zombies on the ground. Use their clothes? Would the blood infect her if it touched her hand? She hesitated for a moment before removing her jacket, so she could cut it into strips to wrap around her hand. After all, she was starting to feel warm while wearing too many layer of clothes. Killing all these zombies also caused her to work up a sweat. Zhang Jin Yuan, who was originally looking at Lu Gan and Lulu listlessly, suddenly became spirited when Lulu took off her jacket. Zhang Jin Yuan eyed Lulu who was wearing a crop top with short shorts over her voluptuous body and her soft, white tender-looking skin. If this wasn't an apocalyptic world, this gorgeous lady walking down the street would surely turn more than a few heads. After sensing the somewhat indecent look of Zhang Jin Yuan, Lulu slightly raised her eyebrow and subconsciously glanced in Lu Gan's direction to see his reaction. To her dismay, Lu Gan was waiting impatiently for her to get ready while stepping on the body of the zombie. He did not even give her a second look. I'm ready. Lulu wrapped the piece of clothing around her hand and took a few steps back while holding the axe with both hands. Lu Gan lifted his leg and violently kicked the zombie towards Lulu. From her past experience of dealing with armless zombies, Lulu was much calmer this time around. She followed Lu Gan's instructions and started the training to learn how to dodge and kick the zombie to the ground. Very quickly she realized that even though Lu Gan's advice was very simple and straightforward, it was still very useful. If she could grasp the timing well, the zombie wouldn't be able to jump attack her that easily, and Lulu could kick the zombie to the ground without breaking a sweat. However, due to her not being familiar with dodging, there were a few times where she was thrust into a dangerous situation during the training. Thankfully, Lu Gan who was guiding her reacted in time to stop the zombie from jump attacking her. After dozens of attempts, Lulu finally completely grasped the technique to deal with the zombie. She could easily dodge the assault of the zombie and accurately kick the zombie to the ground. However, during this period of training, she was reprimanded by Lu Gan countless times. In her whole life, no one had called her a pig so many times. Due to the scolding, she started to doubt her own intelligence and wondered if she was really that stupid. After the training with the one-handed zombie, Lu Gan left the premises and attracted another zombie. However this time, Lu Gan did not cause any harm to the zombie and wanted Lulu to engage in a battle with it. The current Lulu should not underestimate the fighting power of a zombie. An uninjured zombie with both its hands has a significantly higher combat capability than one that has lost an arm. Even though Lulu successfully killed the one-armed zombie before, if not for the protection of Lu Gan, she would have been caught and bitten by the zombie a few times. Thankfully, Lulu had already leveled to level 3. Her strength, speed, and reaction time had increased by a large amount. Her hearing and vision were much more acute and after the 30 minutes of grueling zombie training, she had instinctively reacted to the assault of the zombie. Being able to kick the zombie down to the ground became second nature to her after the practice. If not for the fact that she had leveled to level 3, she would most probably be out of energy and lying on the ground exhausted. The benefits from leveling up in the trembling world were very obviously substantial. You were already so flustered when facing a single zombie. What if several zombies surrounded you? You are so stupid that I have nothing else to say. If I say you are a pig, I would be insulting the pigs. Lu Gan berated Lulu because he was unsatisfied with the progress and performance of Lulu. When Lulu heard what Lu Gan scolded her with, she had the urge to rush at him and take a bite out of him. However, it was only a thought. Lulu was certain that this insensitive and inconsiderate brute who did know how to treat a girl nicely would use his axe to lop off her head if she dared to do anything to him. Why are you looking at me like that? Are you that pissed off at me? All right then, from now on I will not protect you anymore. If you get bitten, it's your fault not mine. If not, you better get rid of this zombie. Prove to me that you are not as stupid as a pig. Lu Gan violently cursed at Lulu and moved a few meters away from the zombie. XDH20. So it will get bloody and realistic like the Walking Dead series very soon. It isn't for the faint of heart.
The source of this content is N O V L Bin Net.